everyone whoa 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 hitting it up with the follow right in the beginning i love it i love to see it hey well i'm excited for today we are once again hunting down some uh some bait for the monster fish which is always great when you're uh looking to do some videos catching monster fish am i right who all's here today hello cole Gorner, uh fishing kid uses code uh levi jong cj is here good deal and this might be his last uh stream for a little while which is which is all right but cj we're glad to have you sam skeleton caden dickinson pro gamer 2.0 javion martin javion martin gosh dang it i never never remember which one that is rizzy is here though uh bubs wolf uh oh my goodness that's a lot of g's and a lot of a's and e's and s's and oh my goodness but hey how's it going joel's here new update just halloween stuff uh yeah no uh nothing nothing halloweeny yet with fishing planet but uh they do have monster fish still which we are going to be uh fishing for so that's always fun <clears throat> cj uh you're back no they added two things in the premium shop oh did they they added two things in the premium shop did they uh spikers here joel again hyper gaming uh timothy descato is in the house yt gerald bates is here just got out of a town meeting wow fancy schmancy what are your new missions oh well we're chasing down uh today we're actually going to be going after some drowned mice we'll see how that goes and then we're going to be uh trying to go for some um some some pike and I started putting some stuff together for the pike uh, I have two bottom rods 
I just don't think a float rod's going to do very w good on October River because uh, because of the current and everything like that. So I've been trying to put together bottom rods, but I don't have any uh, I don't have any pike sized bottom rods. They're all super strong, um, ready for uh, big fish evidently. So I don't know. We might just go with it and just see how we do. <clears throat> but otherwise, yeah, we'll give ourselves a chance there and, uh, and then we'll also throw together this kind of rod so that we can uh, throw out some jerk baits and some crank baits for uh, some pike as well. <coughs> Goodness gracious. Coughing up a lung here. Um, so I'll make sure we have some of those and make sure we have some jerk baits as well. Have some of these. <coughs> Okay, if I get it all out now, then we'll be done with it. We won't have to worry about it anymore. Um, maybe try... Oh, it's going to be too heavy. Try... I doubt a walker will work well in the October River, but... We'll take some random stuff with us and just see how it goes. But, uh, yeah. For now, though, let's just go to Sander Baggersy. We're going to be going after some mice. And we cost us $10,000 just to go there. Goodness gracious. But, uh, we're going after mice, and uh, I'm just going to use one of these rods to get get it I don't even know just 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 uh, how about just a casting spoon we get away with just a casting spoon it's too light what okay let's get a casting spoon that's a good size then how about this is that there we go okay we're good let's go catch some dead mice at uh, Sander Baggersy how about that I'm not even gonna buy a license I just live on the edge like that Adrian is here. Good deal. You got the Colossus the same day that last stream was. Well, right on. Adrian Buckman. Uh, let's see. Reading down. Derek is here. Good deal. Got a football game tomorrow. Our team is undefeated, and the team we're playing against is an undefeated team. Ooh, wow. That'll be a good game then, eh? Fishing kit. Hello. You're the first like. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Jamie, how's it going? From your side. <laughs> Frank 59 is here. Good luck tomorrow. Saying good luck for the football game. Good to see. Yeah, he's going to need it. Yeah, he needs all the luck he can. Two undefeated teams. That's going to be a great game. All right, so let's look at the missions here as I try to continue on. Tadio game, master of the mix. Uh, again, again, again. Okay, sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep looking here. Uh, I think I hit the maximum on friend requests again. I, I deleted like 20 friends and I've already gone back up to the maximum friends here so I'm sorry anyone who sends me friend requests I'm just I delete friends and I add friends and then it just it just I hit the maximum again it, it I yeah I don't know I just keep it just keeps happening can't do anything about it um, <clears throat> huge fat belly catfish monster black whisker has been spotted in Sander Baggersy Lake rumor has it this overweight mutant is so insatiable that it'll eat anything dead or alive to put an end to the foods he has nightmare try making a special bait out of drowned mice that you can collect in aquatic shrubs not far from the southern docks okay southern docks that's 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 gonna be the kicker here so here's some docks down here in the southern side let's uh Let's go down. We're just not going to keep any fish that we catch. Hopefully we don't get fined for it. We'll just have to see. <laughs> You're going to try going for the musky golem again. We'll ride on. Sounds good. So you have some, if you are having trouble catching the hybrid F1 carp, I can help you. Well, good deal, CJ. I've got some things I'm going to try, but we, uh, yeah, we'll get to that point when we get to it. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. Southern docks. Ooh, okay. So it said shrubs. Do you think lily pads will do? Guess we're gonna find out. Lily pads? Lily pads? Okay, we did not get stuck in the lily pads. Oh, we just throw it right here. You know, that was not a good cast, brother. I don't know what's going on with this line right now. So you got a super long leader, I guess. It's just being silly. Right into the thick of it. Give me a drowned mouse. There we go. We got snagged on something. Got snagged on something, boys. Give me... Nope, that's, that's a water lily. Okay. See, it did say shrubs. Instead of lilies. So I'm, I'm wondering if we need to go... 
Small tree-like shrubs are on the northeast side of the lake. Well, what are they saying not far from the south south docks then, huh? Why are they leading us astray? <laughs> Alright, tell you what. Lily pads won't happen. Okay. I, I was catching on to that, you know? You you don't always have to just go ahead and, and tell me tell me things. You know, you don't have to be sitting there and a kid has a little triangular block and you just snatch it from their hand and put it in the triangle spot, you know? Sometimes you just you just wait and watch them struggle. And that's totally fine with me too, you know? I'm here to have fun. And if people are just, you know, I'm gonna read, I'm like Ron Burgundy. I read whatever is in the chat. And if you're gonna tell me the secret to every single thing before I even have a chance to try, then you know, what fun's that? Come on, guys. Give, give me a chance. Give me a chance. They said shrubs, not lilies. It said not far from the south docks. I'm running. I'm running. Uh, I'm kind of far from the south docks now. I'll be. I'll be real. But maybe it's over here. It's still allowing us to run this way, so I'm going. What are you fishing for? We're fishing for dead mice. Doesn't that sound fun? Don't you go fishing for dead mice in real life? You're telling me you don't do that? I'm not seeing anything over here. Nothing's calling my name over here. So they have one of the best running back in the league and we have two of the best. Well, how about that then? That guy just caught a unique silver card. I think we're in a random uh, group right now. Mr. Gold Penguin, hello, hello. Cody369, hello, hello. Still lily pads. Uh, where are the shrubs? They lied to us. Oh, we can't run any further this way. Oh, baloney. This baloney. Okay. Okay, well, we're going over here. Okay, where are the shrubs? Show me the shrubs, bro. I'm running. Go to the two o'clock position and cast to the trees. Cast to the trees? There's gotta be a better way to do it. I haven't even seen any shrubs. How dare they say that they're close to the southern docks? They're not close to the southern docks at all. You know, for some people, they don't have a full chat telling them telling them what they should do. So when they come and watch this video in the future, they're gonna be so thrown off. They're gonna be like, wow. It's nowhere near the southern docks. What's going on there? Moritz is here. How's it going, Moritz? Good to see ya. Oh, golly. So you're saying we should get in the boat, huh? Yeah, I'm not seeing any shrubs over here. Maybe they're saying they're not far from the... Yeah, like you were saying. Maybe they're saying they're not far from the... Okay. Bring up my, uh, bring up my menu. Come on now. What are we waiting for? Ugh, fishing planet, you're driving me crazy right now. Just open up a menu. Goodness gracious. Come on now. Mm. Yeah, right. Your name's Pro Gamer 2.0. You can't, you can't scare me. Boy, they really like to let you know that you should get a license, don't they? All right, not far from the southern docks. Let's look for them, boys. Where are you, shrubs? More like scrubs, am I right? Anywhere around here? Now that, that, that's... I think that's just a bush that's in the water. What do you think? Are those the actual... Maybe we need to cast into these. I was gonna say they just look like they're, they're trees in the water, but there's a lot of them in the water. You know how like when a game does something and you're thinking, okay, that must be a mistake. 
They clipped a tree in the water. That can't be true. But it's the Delta variant. Oh my goodness gracious. Habla Espanol. Oh, we got snagged. We got snagged. We got snagged on something. What are you? What are you? <gasps> Let's go! That's what we needed right there, boys. A drowned mouse. Big deal. That's a big deal right there. <clears throat> the dancing unicorns are super excited right now. Okay. That's one drowned mouse. That's one drowned mouse. The poor mice, they're just drowning themselves over here. Here we go. Four more to get. Four more to get. How lucky are we gonna be? How long is this gonna take? Usually these ones don't take very long, but you never know. Anyone remember going for the, uh, the boxes? Remember going for the loot boxes during the patriotic days? Oh man, we're really snagged. Oh. Look at this, we're so... This dang drowned mouse is really in there. Goodness gracious. <laughs> this is a fat one. He was stuck in the trees like crazy. His little butt was just wedged in between two branches or something. That's crazy. Okay, two out of five. Two out of five. We're, we're, we're making our way through this, by golly. We're gonna be going after the black wizard catfish before we know it. Oh my god, we're just getting so snagged in this. <laughs> three for three! Three for three! Let's go! Two more to go. What is the best match rod? The best match rod is the one that you can afford. And the one that'll allow you to catch the fish you're going for. Those are the two rules that kind of work for every uh, fishing rod in the game. What fish are you going for? Is it a 40 pound fish? Then you better find a rod that can handle a 40 pound fish. It's really that easy. There's another drowned mouse, good deal. Four out of five, four out of five now. Here we go, here we go. Come on, man. Come on, man. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling lucky? Are you feeling lucky, punk? Oi! Sander Baggersy drowned mouse. Look at that. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. And how long did it take us to find it? Didn't take us long at all. I basically knew exactly where it was. From the very start, I just pretty much just went straight to it. I, all I'm saying, I just I just have a knack for these things. Just have a knack for them. You know, you didn't see me hesitate one bit when we got here. All right, here we go. <laughs> we're leaving. We're leaving. We got our drowned mouse and we're leaving. We spent $10,000 for five drowned mice and that's all we needed. By golly. All right, drowned mouse uh, out. Uh, I tell you what, tell you what I want to try now. I want to try the, uh, um, oh man. Let's try, uh, see I should have kept those rods that I had in. Those would have worked for perfectly and I got rid of them. Should have kept the ones I had in, but I got rid of them and now look where I am now. Jeez Louise. All right, here we go. Let's throw them back in here. We're gonna go after the, um, the, uh, the hybrid F1 now. I think we should be okay with these rods. I might go with the all around on this one. Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll actually throw out the fruitcake rod, the Christmas rod. Woo woo, look at that. Now we're getting fancy. Now we're getting fancy, boys. Okay, so, uh, let's see here. What reel are we supposed to use with this thing? There we go. Fancy, sh fancy reel there as well. 
Um, let's see. We need a 19.5 pound reel on this one. I think I'm just gonna throw this uh, line glider on. Oh, here's a big river. We'll go with that. Big river there, and let's see. One around nine pounds here. I have one in here. Ah, that's the, the Bremer. The Bremer 4000. All right, throwing some line now. Let's see, I think I'm just gonna go with 10 pound line. A little strong, a little strong, but that's okay. Well, 11 pound fluorocarbon, oh, that's a liter. Okay, well, I guess so. Um, 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 um. 13 pound, yeah, let's go with that. Good deal. Um, uh, need a sinker now. Throw on that baby. We need a three ounce sinker with this one. There we go. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. Give us a break. 19 and a half pounds on this guy. 17 pound, that's all right. We, this, jeez, come on. This is everyone's favorite part of the stream, is just me figuring out rods. I know it. You don't have to tell me. I, I know it, you know? It come, it, it, I, have an, I have an eye for this sort of stuff. I know what you really enjoy is watching me put rods together. And I, I'm just aiming to please, truly, you know? I am here, you know, I don't want to say that I'm slaving away to uh, to what you desire, but uh, that's how I feel sometimes. Just making sure that you are happy with what we're doing here. Seven, eight ounce. Let's go with that. And 11 ounce fluorocarbon now. I think I'm gonna do, let's do a number six. A number six on this one. Or number eight. Let's do number eight. Number eight there. Let's do a number six on this and a number six on this one. And then what I have heard, what I have heard, mind you, is that blood worms are the way to go for this hybrid F1. Now, I don't know if we should use some sort of uh, method mix or something, but uh, this is what I have heard works. So it'll it'll work. Demon boy, oh my goodness gracious. Espanol para poder hablar mi profesora en español. Professor of Spanish? I'm trying to I'm trying to read. I'm trying to get it. Magister 350. Play for the Royal Valley Panthers. We'll ride on. Sounds cool. Read the chat. I'm reading the chat now. Goodness gracious. Did you really enjoy me uh, putting all those rods together or would you rather watch me actually fish? Okay, let's uh We've got to get the full thing the full $8,000 tag Goodness gracious. I feel like we should actually try and catch some uh, carp while we're at it. Otherwise, we're gonna lose a lot of money, but hey We're just gonna go for it. I guess Okay here we go. We're we're going. Fishing plan is live, by the way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Friends only room, in case you want to join in. Use red worms up close to the shoreline. Ooh, good idea. That's what I'm gonna do. Sort of. Got your first kayak. Well, right on. That's awesome. Got another stream. How's it going? Everything fishing, Northern Ireland. It's going quite well, I think, anyway. We're, uh, we already got our first monster bait. Now we're going for our second. Um, we'll just try and do, figure out where to go, really. Over here? Over here? Over here or over here? That is the question. Not really sure where to throw out, but we're just gonna try some different spots and see which one does it. This is the number seven. Let's get the number ten. 
thing the new update was for the new trophy missions. New tro I did read something about that, yeah. New trophy missions. All right, throw this guy down. What level are you? We are level 60 at the moment. Feel, uh, I feel weird. I feel like I should be spotting a spot or something like that. Not you. Feel weird just fishing with worms at uh, Weeping Willows. I should probably actually fi switch to a good time. <laughs> Since I totally forgot to do that. Oh god. Can I do that real quick? Yeah, let's do that. Nice. Nice work, Bo. Good work there. Freaking good, bro. So good at this game. Okay. Let's fish here. Okay. Let's actually switch to a good time to be fishing. How about that? Okay, we're gonna throw out. I uh, I heard that you need to be fishing in a, a sort of shallow spot, so we're gonna we're gonna throw out here. You caught yours on a on a float rod, eh? Well, gosh dang, man. I have a float rod. I think we well, could throw out another one. That's the fruit cake rod. No one call me a fruitcake, please. Here we go. Throwing this out, a little holiday. A little holiday put down, evidently. Throwing this guy out. You betcha. Watch the BZ Hub Beginner Series. Best tip that you can ever have. All right. We have this too. Dogs are barking. Always good when the dogs are barking. Um, throw on another one here. Might as well. What's keeping us? What's stopping us? No one's stopping us. Let's do it. Oh, that's a bite. That's a bite. Hundred and twenty or so. Okay. Getting very specific. Very good. Just caught a tar tarpon on a mini spin. Oh my goodness gracious. Sounds pretty crazy. Was there a new update? Uh, I did read something about trophy fish. I'm not really sure what that's all about. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mom. Um, Explosive parrot. Wait a Ugar. Oh my god. I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best, Caden. I'm not good. I'm not good enough. I can't think of what, uh... He, uh, Consiga is. It's a fish on, though. That's a fish on, though. And it's a little one, which is what we're going for. You love this game. It's awesome. I know. A crucian carp. Okay. We got a crucian carp. Well, that's that's around the size that we're going for, I guess. Just caught a musky golem, 84.9 pounds. Oh man, now I need to go look and see how big ours was. Let's see. 85 pounds. Ooh, just barely a little bit bigger, CJ. Oh, goodness gracious. I know mine's not that big, so that's awesome. Still got it, though. That's what matters. Just caught a unique tarpon. Very cool, Kanan. Kanan. Is it Kanan or Kanan? Morrison. <clears throat> I agree, Caden. I just wish I spoke it better. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Ah, uh, yeah, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, bro. Hope you got plenty of time for this one. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know, 
It's only 8 o'clock. We got till 9.30, boys. European perch. Fantastic. That's what I wanted. Throw it out, Hino. Goodness gracious, that's actually a pretty good sized fish on that rod. Evidently. What do you think, boys? What do you think, boys and everyone? Internet's playing up. Is it a tench? A golden tench! It's my first golden tench I've ever caught. Wow. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. All right, that's okay. The background makes music makes it so intense. I agree. I agree. What's your biggest fish? Yours is a 413-pound bull shark. I think mine's 233-pound arapaima. It's not that big. Once we get to the Amazon, though, we'll be able to fish for some bigger stuff. So you can play. Oh, okay. See, I had, I saw you want your mom, and then I saw Xbox Ultimate, and I was like, okay. After that, I did not know what, what it was. We're in 39. Did I play the Battlefield beta? I did not, no. Favorite type of bass? Oh man, I don't know. Probably one of those, uh, kind of difficult, I don't know. Probably a big, uh, like, Amazonian speckled bass or something like that. I don't know how, I don't know the different types of peacock bass they have in the Amazon, but, uh, some of them I watched John B. catch, they look pretty awesome. So, uh, one of those, hopefully someday I'll be able to go after some of those big, those big peacock bass in the Amazon. Woo, that's a big fish. That's a bigger fish. I was gonna break there for a second. Four hundred and forty, very cool. Another golden tench, it looks like. Trophy tench, just a regular tench this time. Two point six three three pounds. My goodness gracious. For a rod that has what how much our line was almost stressed out to the point of breaking and it's 11 pounds we have 11 pounds and 13 pound line and it almost broke on a three pound fish how did that happen how does that how is that happening oh god oh god I don't even know which one's going. It's not really fighting that much. What's up, Taven? How's it going? Can some larger, small, common carp? Okay. Yeah, hopefully at some point. Goodness gracious! At the moment, we're just catching a little fish. Another golden tench. It looks like trophy golden tench this time around. How about that? Boy, oh boy! <laughs> Outdoors, kid. What's up, man? We're going for it. We're going for big fish today. Size six and size eight hooks here. Big fish. All right, all right, all right. Now our fruitcake rod's going. Took you two days to catch the Uni F1. Well, we're gonna do it in two hours. <laughs> a little uh, perch it looks like trophy European perch of that I don't think I'm yet to catch a unique uh, European perch so guess we have that chance 
Hey guys, I don't know if you know this, but I, I say everyone's names and I and I chat with everyone and I honestly don't know what a shout out is. To, to me, a shout out is like, hey, I recommend this guy's channel because he does a great job and I don't watch any of you, so I cannot recommend anyone's channels here. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. Unless PewDiePie or Catfish and Carp jumps into the stream right now, I'm not gonna be recommending anyone. And if you're not asking for that sort of a shout out, I'm just gonna say your name and I'm gonna say whatever you put down. And if you ask for a shout out, I'm gonna time you out because I'm tired of seeing it, honestly. We're here to have fun. We're here to have conversations. And if you're just gonna ask for shout outs the whole time, then I don't want you here. It's just annoying. Something on the big Ollie. The big Ollie. Still no F1, that's true. <laughs> full speed, a full speed ostrich? My goodness gracious, Michelle Nevitt. A full speed ostrich. You had a brownie for dessert. Bro, that sounds good. How can you get the Bassy Bay mission? Most likely you just need to level up. That's usually the biggest thing. How long have we been on YouTube? Raymond Gardner asks. Uh, we've been on since... Uh, February 2019, I think? Can you do a video on catching every species at Lone Star Lake? We got pretty close. I mean, between between the guide series video of catching fish at Lone Star and then the uh, and then the beginner series videos of catching them at Lone Star, we, I think we've caught pretty much everything there. If if anything, the only thing we didn't catch was a buffalo, and you can see those in the uh, in the ghost is it the ghost buffalo that that video from last year's uh, Halloween extravaganza. So. What's my favorite fish to catch in the game? Oh, man. I don't think I have a specific fish. Uh, tarpon are up there. I think they're a fun fish. I like how they jump out of the water and they're just big and it's exciting to watch them go after topwater lures. Um, but I do enjoy fishing for carp. I think that of the fish in the game that kind of make a fight interesting, um, carp are a pretty good, pretty good one. Very little ice cream left. 50 likes, oh my goodness, 50 likes. If we could get the 50 likes, I just don't even know. Just don't even know. Spotted bass at Lone Star, my goodness gracious. New to the channel, love watching the streams. Do you think you could do a video or stream of fishing for red tail catfish? Absolutely. Once we unlock an area where we can fish for red tail catfish, we're totally going to make a video catching them. Uh, but currently, I just don't even have an area to go catch them at the moment, Josh. I'm only level 60. There's a, there's a fish. A weird glitch like a, a version of a fish jumping trophy pressure car of that time a fish jumping out of water I'm on ps4 uh, no I don't I don't Florian runner catch small mouth buffalo yeah Hook size should I use for the Everglades bass? Ooh, um, probably up to size uh, four aught. I think is usually pretty good. Anywhere, anywhere up to four aught, one aught, two aught, three aught, four aught. I don't think you could try five aught, but I don't. I think five aught's too big. I agree, Braden. Yeah, max level is 70 at the moment. How 
100 pound carp as soon as I was going to leave. Oh wow. Did you? You should post a pic of it in the Discord. Lauren Renner. Okay, thanks. This cap is your wicked up there. I do not, Brayden. Do a series in Mudwater Lake. We did. Uh, we did do a uh, video at Mudwater. Uh, Raymond. Did you watch it? Did you watch it? I'm gonna switch locations here. Do I watch baseball? I don't watch baseball, no. Um, I usually get bored watching baseball, but to be honest, I get bored watching pretty much any sport. Um, I played a lot of sports growing up, but uh, I struggle watching. I get, I get super bored watching sports. Where am I right now? Oh, I'm not even on the same lake. I ran to a different lake. Use the White Moose Lake. It's a great question. I, I don't really know. Um, I would say something that handles mid-20s will probably be fine. I think if you, uh, if you get a rod that can handle mid-20s, uh, wait, you should be good. Should be plenty. Oh, let's try this. We're just gonna we're just gonna run around different spots. Nice little crossing area or any fish that wants to go through these little islands kind of has to go through this main area here might be a nice spot to try for five minutes or so what's your discord it should be in the description if you check in the description it'll give you a link to go sign up for it oh this is not not the rod I was looking for True. Fishing Planet does have 10 more levels than the Hunter Call of the Wild. What's my favorite sport? Fishing, of course. A Crucian Carp. New personal record. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, everyone. By golly. I, we still haven't even caught one yet, is the thing. Not, it's not an actual fish there. It uses code. Trophy Prussian carp there. Oh my god. We got so much beeping going on right now. Let's get this guy. Mission? Gosh dang it. That's the thing about fishing with small hooks. We catch a lot of small fish. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it works like that? Steven Dree Drees? Hi. It's like Breeze, like Drew Breeze. And hunting. What are we fishing for? We're fishing for the the unique hybrid F1 carp. He's got to be around here somewhere. It's just that we're fishing with uh, worms and small hooks, and so we're kind of attracting pretty much anything that's in here. Yeah, there's lots of lots of beeping going on. The music of Fishing Planet. Lots of beeping.
So Bo will be popular. Oh, hey, another Tench. Well, we're certainly catching lots of fish over here. Nothing big, though. Car fishing seems boring. Oh, man, you don't even know. Don't even know. I mean, we're not even car fishing right now. <sighs> I mean, I guess we are technically going for a hybridized carp. Yeah, so... In a way, it is. Where are we fishing at? We're, uh, we're, well, we're over here. This bottom, bottom southern lake here. Do you hunt? I used to hunt uh, a lot when I was back in, in high school growing up in my hometown. Then I kind of moved away and, um, moved away from family land and, uh, friends and family and stuff that, uh, had land to hunt on and, uh, I haven't done much since then. Moved to Kansas City. Very, uh, a lot of people here, and there's not a lot of places to hunt nearby. And if there is, then they're pretty, pretty well hunted. And so I just don't do much hunting around here. But, uh, yeah, we went out last spring season for turkeys. I didn't get one, but I did go out during the bow season. And then, um, and then, uh, we got a doe last fall, uh, last winter, I guess. Uh, which we made a video about and cleaning it up and uh, getting some getting the meat from that so uh, you can check that out if you want to uh, search uh, one doe one doe on um, on the BZ hub and you'll bring that up two videos over that um, do you watch Duck Dynasty I watched it when it first came out but I haven't watched it since then well thanks Raymond appreciate it why your crankbaits just sink I do not know that that's a good question. I have no idea. Right, George? I agree. Can we see the Halloween intro again? Oh, I suppose. I think it's this one. Is he gonna play? Hobbs Halloween extravaganza continues this Halloween season featuring featuring new monster fish and spookily great weekly episodes and live streams of your favorite scary games. Subscribe now and be there if you dare. That was kind of silly. It kind of froze there for a second. You got yours on a, a number four hook, huh? Boy, we're getting all sorts of answers. Someone caught one on a number eight hook. Someone caught one on a number four hook. I'm using number six hooks. I guess it couldn't hurt to throw a number four hook on here and just try a range of hook sizes. Then we'll have number eight, number six, and number four. So I'm, I'm all for it. At least then we'll catch some larger fish, if anything. Throw a number four on here. Let's tell them any advice, you know, if you, uh, if you spend enough time with them, they'll, uh, they'll certainly kind of get the vibe. They'll, they'll, they'll get the vibe. Obviously, I think when you're, when you're younger, it's kind of difficult because, you know, not everyone's at that kind of maturity level. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I look back on the, the the girls I dated in like middle school and 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 high school and stuff like that, and I just think probably could have just not dated anyone. Probably wouldn't have made that big of a difference <laughs> because uh, it doesn't seem like you uh, like anything really matters until you get into college or something. Unless you don't plan to go to college, then of course, then high school probably means a lot, because then you're finding someone that you like forever, I guess. I don't know. I guess I can't really speak from my experience in that situation. <laughs> you love the pumpkin behind me. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we got the BZ Hub, BZ Hub pumpkin there. Big deal, pretty sweet. I think it's cool anyway. I carved it last, last Halloween season. I was pretty excited about it. The frutas. 
Now I don't know what Boca Dios means. But well, thank you, Leaf. Come on, man, get it. That's our number four hook, too. That's our number four hook, too, bro. Next time you're on, right on. Another uh, cruising carp here. Trophy cruising carp this time on the number four hook. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that we should probably move to a different location. Let's see here. We were going to fish this spot over here, and then we moved and went to a different spot. Let's try here. I don't know if we should fish that cove or right here. Try it right here. I like fishing these little coves in here. Kind of shady, and it reminds me of like where a fish would hide. I think I will throw another four. Number four hook on. Number four. <laughs> What'd you miss? They hate Zach. They hate Zach. What a name. Stop by and remind everyone, hit the like button. Big block. I like it, man. Right on. He caught one on number one hook. Oh, man. Oh, man. I caught one on a 10 aught hook. It was the biggest one in the game. When I caught it, everyone was like, hey... Oh, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. And I was like, Psh, I know. Because I'm just that good, man. It's just how I work. We started with 43 bloodworms when we came here. We're at 27 now. That rod's moving. If I was fishing in real life, I would think that this was a catfish. Crucian Carb again. Whoa! That's the one we're going for! A hybrid F1, but it's a trophy. It's only a trophy. Oh, man. Ugh. It kind of, uh... Makes you realize how close you were to getting it, you know? Trophy F1. There we go. Well, that's what we're going for. We just need it to be unique. Boy, I cannot wait to see the unicorns dance when we get that guy in. I know, man. Oh, once again, not using the right rod. Okay, come on. Throw this out quick, you know. Beeping, beeping, beeping. Thought he got away for a second there. Another cruising carp or is it an F1? Another cruising carp. Now I don't know which ones are which. If they're F1s or, or if they're uh, cruising carp, they all look so similar. Goodness gracious. What's the hardest fish to catch? Ooh, good question. I don't really know. Hardest fish to catch. CJ's done a lot of fishing in this game. What do you think, CJ? What is the hardest fish to catch? Manana. Escuela. This car. Oh, man. You are testing me, Caden. Bye, Bo. Slam. Sounds good, Michelle. Tyranno King's here. How's it going, Tyranno King? Bearded Outdoor Adventures. <laughs> Caught you live, been enjoying watching your videos for a while now. Right on, appreciate it. Now yeah, we're uh, we're trying to catch the unique F1 hybrid carp at the moment. It's uh, it's it's proving to be not so much a challenge, but a test of patience. That's for sure. What did you say? He knew it was a mix between. He's not a mix of anything. He's an alien dressed up as a human. He's just, you know, it's your classic alien dressed up as a human story, you know. I'm just, I, I'm unoriginal like that. I'm just, you know. Next thing you know, he's he's hating on you because you're stepping on cockroaches and stuff. And, uh, you know, you're shooting noisy crickets at him and whatnot. It's just not very original. 12 p.m. on a cloudy day. 12 p.m. on a cloudy day. 
All you can hear right now is beep, 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 beep. I know. That is true though, CJ. We are fishing on a sunny day. We could switch to a cloudy day and see if it changes. See if it changes our luck. Maybe, uh, maybe we catch, catch more of them. There's, there we got a hybrid F1 again. I'm gonna go up a hook size on this guy. Going to number six there. In the middle of the lake, oh man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, uh, that you can catch fish in a lot of different areas in the game. Um, could be wrong. Need more likes to catch it? Probably so. That's probably what I'm missing. I just don't have enough likes on the video. Better hit that. Tiger Muskie has been the most difficult for you. Another trophy European Percher. Um, yeah. I guess I've never, like, gone specifically for the Tiger Muskie. Any time I've caught one, it's just kind of been random. Um, same with Muskie. I've never, like, targeted Muskie, per se. Ooh, is this going to be one, or is this another tench? Another hard-fighting tench here. Remember when we caught that last tench, and it fought like a bus. This kind of looks like a Prussian carp. Trophy Prussian carp. Man, he put up a fight. Tennessee. 300 pound air pima. <clears throat> Vids are the best. Well, thank you, fishing kid. Appreciate it. Prussian carp again. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the bites to die down. Then we might we might switch to a, 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 a cloudy day, like CJ talked about. What is your favorite fish to catch in real life? Ooh, ooh. Um. <sighs> you know, for the longest time, I really enjoyed uh, fishing for Channel Cat. Just the different ways that you can do it. You could, you could fish for them. I mean, Channel Cat will just go for anything. You can catch them on lures. You can catch them on on baits on the bottom. You can throw a. Uh, a float down a stream and they'll go for a float and so I just liked the different ways that you could go for a channel cat and I liked how um, you know they get so big that you know when you get so used to catching them only like this long or something like that and then you end up catching one that's like this big it's like holy smokes you know that's that's really cool and then you know you start carp fishing and it's basically the same thing except that uh, you know a, a 10 pound carp is like not uncommon so it's I don't know I think carp are one of the most fun fish to catch just plain and simple cam gaming just joined Do you like tea or coffee Ooh. most of the time I drink coffee now there are certainly days I wake up and I'm like nope not today. <laughs> today is not a coffee day, and I'll drink tea instead. Um, but most of the time, most of the time, I'm drinking, I'm drinking, uh, drinking coffee. Now here's a little cove over here. Could try that spot. Right next to that little willow tree. Let's switch to a cloudy day, though. We'll try a cloudy day and see if that changes. Is this gonna be sunny? Yeah, it's sunny again. When's the next cloudy day? Oh god, we've got so many... The fifth day is really the best cloudy day. We've got so many sunny days in a row. I'm just gonna be throwing money into the into the clouds here. There we go. Cloudy day. Cloudy day, finally. I don't look a day over 20. Aww. 
Thank you. I can fish blue crab, isn't it cool? Can you fish blue crab? <laughs> Eli Riley's gotta go, all right, Eli. Well, it's good to have you here, man. There's that one. Get this guy out. Payaras are not easy either. Didn't, couldn't even get a trophy. You know, that's the craziest thing, man. I used to catch, when we were fishing for Payara, when we first got to Maku Maku, we were catching uniques left and right. And then the last couple times I've tried to catch them there, no luck. Could not get one. Um, it was a pain in the butt. So I think they did something, man. I think they did something. Why do we need to catch the Uni F1? We need it because we, uh, Need it for the Carp Colossus bait. It's part of the Carp Colossus bait that you need to uh, catch an Uni F1 hybrid. I guess I could pop that up so that you guys can see that, eh? Might help. See, we've got, we've got, because we carp fish all the time, we've got a unique common carp, mirror carp, leather carp, ghost carp, and grass carp. We're only missing the hybrid F1 carp. So that's what we're fishing for right now. We literally only need one fish to get this. Ruiz has got to go. All right, take care then. Braden Flynn, hi. How are ya? Blue catfish are a blast to catch here. Nothing more fun than having 10 rods all going at the same time on a boat. See, I think that's my trouble, Bearded Outdoor Adventures. I don't have a boat. I have a, I have a kayak, but I haven't gotten really into the whole, like, uh, you know, uh, making, you know, getting rod holders and go throwing out a bunch of stuff, you know? Do I watch the Outdoor Boys? I, you know, that's the catfish and carp kind of spin off with him and his kids. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I watch them every once in a while. I like that guy. I think he's a fun guy. Kind of reminds me of what I'll, I'll most likely be like when I have kids. Most likely be a kind of crazy dad and making videos with him and stuff like that. So probably, probably be fun. You may rage, but you still love the game. Right on. Tell you what, man, we switched to a cloudy day and it has been slow. Might be the location that we're at. But this is the first bite we've had this entire time. A little European perch. We don't have a lot of time to be fishing either because it just got a little little hill there. Let's go. Um, what place did we have the most luck at? This is the place where we caught our first F1. Let's keep fishing here. Alrighty. Ka chow! Lightning McQueen. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Sorry you're late. Hey, no problem there. Hi. Can I fish there? I Well, I can once I get the lure to go fish for it, Code. Use Telefoot till level 13 because I did not know how to change it. Oh my goodness gracious. Didn't you watch the BZ Hub rods video? The rod guide that showed you how to use every rod and set them up? Super useful. Super useful. Now I tell you what, I'm yet to catch one on a float rod. You like any fish. Diamond geese in the same flock. Oh my goodness gracious. That's cool. You gotta post a picture of them in the Discord. See, CJ, I think it'll start about a week before Halloween. Like a week or a week and a half before Halloween. They always seem to do it like, it almost seems like the last minute. It's super inopportune, because I remember that we finally caught the Frankenfish after Halloween. Like it was in November, we finally caught the Frankenfish, so... It's just not very nice. They need to give us more time, they need to give us like the full month of October or something like that. There's a fish. 
The cloudy day does not seem to be doing too well at the moment. It might just be this uh, crazy, instead of uh, getting a nice, uh, you know, instead of getting a nice rounded, rounded day like this fifth day, we're kind of fishing on a little tiny hill here, but uh, I don't know. Find out, I guess. I'm also running out of blood worms. I don't even know if they have them for sale here. Don't have them for sale here. So that's going to be a problem too. Bell balls, pedo, semolina balls, red worms, and blood worms. Yikes, Arama. So that's something else we need to worry about. Did I know he was in a band? Uh, uh, yeah. Of course we did. He made a whole movie about it. Time on time, Lucas says. Oh, man. Tommy's your favorite? There's a crucian carp. My fish is running. Come on, man. Golden Tench. Gosh dang it. Ah, but I got the idea, Jose. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. When do we end the streams? 9.30 p.m. Central Time. I tell you what, I only have 17 worms, and the bites are not great right now. So I tell you what we're gonna do. We're going to change the time. We're gonna fish this same spot, but ah, oh, crapola. We're gonna use a bait coin as well. We're gonna fish here. Come on, man! This is it. This is fishing for the historic. I know, man. At least we're not using a little bass popper. We have 17 worms to make something happen. So it's got a 99 pound tarp and Luke is right on, man. That's awesome. Never get too old for trick or treat. I agree. If adults showed up to my house in full costume and everything, I would totally give them candy. You kidding me? They, they deserve it. Especially if it was a good costume. I mean, when you think about the good costumes out there, who are the ones wearing them? Cosplayers and whatnot? They're adults. You know, if, I, if I'm gonna see an impressive costume during Halloween, it's most likely gonna be from an adult. I'm just being real. So, I mean, I, I, I'm fully welcoming adults to come to my house fully dressed up for Halloween. I mean, that just seems just seems like the best way of getting the best costumes, really. We're giving out full bars, too. Full chocolate bars. Reese's candy bars. The whole nine yards. In Spanish? Fish on. Not a big one, though. On the number four as well. Still getting the small fish. Skull Trooper from Fortnite. <laughs> What's your favorite and least favorite candy? Favorite candy is Reese's. Reese's peanut butter cups. Freaking love them. I can't get enough of them. Uh, least favorite? Whoppers, obviously. Worst candy ever. Worst ever. Other than like a salted candy from Sweden or Finland or something like that. Yuck. <laughs> Too sweet for me and they don't taste nice. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm not sure which one to pick up. This one's small, though. Maybe we should have picked up the other one. This one's gonna be quick, anyway. Get in here. What are you? Doesn't seem that big. Crucian Carp. 14 more fish to go. Favorite candy is a Twix. All right, everyone throw down what your favorite candy is. Let's just get it out of the way. Tell me what your favorite candy is. Let me hear it. You hate Twizzlers. If I mean, if I'm rating Twizzlers and Reese's, yeah, Twizzlers would be way down low compared to Reese's. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, Lucas says. Favorite candy is a Crunch Bar, okay. Kid Cat, Snickers, Twix, Crunchy Bar. Oh my goodness, this one's out for the races. Everyone, everyone, cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. This one's racing. This one's racing. Oh man. Oh man. Oh baby! Let's go! Oh! I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Give me a second. Let's go! Alright, got that out of the way. Ah, so awesome. Done with that. Got our ground bait. Fantastic. The Weeping Willow Stomach Ground Bait. Oh god. Now ready to hunt for the Colossus Carp. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Alright, all done with this shenanigans. Let's get out of here. We're gonna go to Octuba now. To Octuba! Captain Unicorn in the house. Official. Officially. Cold Faze is here. How's it going, Cold Faze? Reese's Puffs. Peanut butter chocolate flavor. That's what the commercials used to say. Three thousand dollars. Yes. Got me three thousand dollars, bro. God dang, it's it costs so much money to come here, and I don't have a lot of money. I bought another carp rod, and it cost like one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And it really cut down the amount of money I had available. <laughs> All right, so now we need to go fish for some some big pike at October River. Ugh, man, it's got me worried. My whole pike setup is uh is you know it, it's it's float rods, but October River is flowing, so we need to use bottom rods. Just throws a just throws a whole thing into it. Just throws a whole thing into it. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put this away. I just wanted to use this one to go after the pike. Just sounded fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> Told me the number four works. It did work. You are right. We gotta go to Octuba now. And then Blue Crab is afterwards. Alright, alright, alright. Throw this bad boy in here. We're actually going to use the bottom sniper. I haven't used the bottom sniper in so freaking long. Oh, uh, all right, here we go. So we need a, uh, I'm not gonna use super heavy stuff, or maybe I will, I don't know. 
I don't know, man. Let me do my thing. Don't judge. What are we here? 46. 33. What do we got for 33? We got 30 pound. 28. 20. Oh, 32. Can you use 32? Oh, that's 32. Okay. Top notch. Now we just need line. You don't have any line. Okay. Let's see. 32 pound mono. That'll probably work. As long as we use a uh, metal leader, should be fine. 47 here. Forty-one pound braid, that's not bad. Use that. Now fifty-two. Classic fifty-two. Alrighty, let's throw some sinkers on here now. Carp sinker on that guy. All right, let's throw on some seven knot hooks. Could probably go to something larger, but I like seven knot hooks. You know, let's throw eight knot hooks on the on the other ones. Not even gonna put on barbless. I don't even care. Don't need it. Don't need it. So why am I doing it? Not after experience here. All right, show me the metal. Show me the metal. Titanium leaders. Here we go. So we need thir oh, you bastard. thirty-two. Throw a backup in here. Forty-one pound. Go with that. Backup as well. Fifty-five pound and fifty-five pound. All right, now we just need a lot of shiners. Oh, we got seventy-five shiners. Okay, that'll work. We use large minnows as well. Might help. Might mix it up. Mix it up and throw some large minnows in there. We got twenty-eight of those too. All right, and we're gonna be throwing some crank baits and some uh, jerk baits while we're waiting. So that'll give us something to do there. Do we need to keep the fish or do we just need to catch them? Let's find out. Catch a pike. It doesn't say we need to keep them. But I guess we could. Ugh. October River. Where does it say pike? Tench, common carp, northern pike trophy, and unique. Gosh dang it, this is gonna be so expensive. It's eleven thousand dollars to come here and eight thousand dollars for a freaking lure. Ugh. Just right reach leg rank one. Well right on, that's awesome. That is sick. Do you have the DLC bottom rod? I don't believe so. What do you mean by the DLC bottom rod? Cream wells catfish. Where do you think we should fish? Oh, I guess we could try this resting waters area. It says that there's pike over there. And also, should we fish in the uh, cloudy weather? Or in the sunny weather? How do you get more fish monster missions? By leveling up. You gotta be a high enough level to catch them. So you gotta keep working your way up. First one you've made, Mark Martinez says. Right on. Well, glad you're here, Mark. All right, the resting waters. We are finally here. Well, we probably could have used float rods here, huh? No matter. Doesn't matter. Not really sure where the pike are going to be. 
We'll just start by tossing them out straight out, I guess, from this spot. And uh, maybe we'll go to... See? There's no lily pads or anything over here. First live as well, growing up hunting says, right on. Triple L is here. David Probus is here now? Right on, man. I'm gonna throw this bottom sniper way out over here just so we can see if there's fish over here. If we start catching pike over there, we'll move that way. So it said the resting wa it said the resting waters. Array of underwater inhabitants for an angler to hunt on. Northern pike, just to list a few. As far as the other locations. I'll say that there's northern pike over here too. I guess I guess we really could have fished anywhere, huh? We'll give this spot a little bit. If we catch one, we catch one. If not, we'll move to another location. So anyway, what other uh, Halloween questions do we got? Oh man, well, there's fish on. <laughs> Only eight pounds though. Dang it. That's okay. We're making our money back, and that's what matters. We gotta make back, uh... Was it $19,000? We gotta catch $19,000 worth of fish to make our money back. While we're here. That was on a large minnow, too, so that's good to remember. Which wasn't nice. Very true. Just got a 34-pound unique bike right on, man. Monster catfish. Oh my goodness. AirPods in and watch your vids all the time. Well, why aren't you enjoying PE, Mark? PE was one of my favorite classes. Just to remove basic license, they're useless. To make the advanced ones cheaper, otherwise it's just eating away your precious money. I know, right? That's okay. It's all part of the game. All part of the game, me you know. You're gonna bounce, Leaf says, right on. Corey O'Brien, hi. What three rods do you guys recommend for Tiber River? Great question. I never fished the Tiber River, so I would not be great. I ain't doing half bad, it's very true. Can't ever catch you live till today. Win for you. Jose Luna, I agree. Well, I'm glad you're here. This is awesome. Ugh. Well, we caught one pike pretty quickly, but this is being a little slow. We might have to try somewhere else. Might have to try somewhere else. The only other place that's mentioned pike in here has been this uh, this spot down down south on the map here. It's this uh, all hail the pioneers, which is one place that you catch. Uh, you can catch some of the belugas there too. How do you like Red Dead? I, I I do like it. I think it's fun. I wish more people would watch the videos. There seem to be uh ooh, it's moving a little bit. There seem to be a lot of people who seem to be excited about it. Um, but then you know we only get a few hundred people that watch the videos after you know after everything that goes into making the videos. You kind of hope that more people would watch them, but it's okay. You know what what more do I expect? I guess. The people who wanted to watch him watched him, and that's that's great. So, do what you can. If you haven't watched them though, I do recommend them. They are pretty great. You're earning good money with the pike. Very true. All right, I'm about to call it. I'm about to call it. It's very slow here. Nothing's happening. We're fishing during a good time. Let's go here. There's my beluga spot over there. You think it'd be good for pike too? We'll fish the beluga spot for, uh, for pike. Oh. 
Not really sure what that was about. <laughs> uh, you know what? Tell you what. I'm going to here just a second. I'm going to play a little ad for you and I'll be right back. I'm going to go get me a, a, a soda. <laughs> Get out of here, here, boy! Get out of here, boy! It's the craziest thing. Did you know that Beezy Hub now has new shirts on the Beezy Hub store? That's right! That's right! Check out all the new moose and whitetail deer shirts along with Kansas largemouth bass and catfish with new shirts being added every month. And not that I should tell you, but I heard that Bo has the misses at rock bottom prices. No! No! Please! I wasn't going to tell you, I'm just a lonely dormant pirate. No, no! Check out the beast up store today! I just wanted to say... Thanks, thanks. All right. Alrighty, we're back at it. He left his mic on. I only left it on for the parts I wanted you to hear, which was me freaking out about why it's doing its weird thing. It like skips the first like five minutes of it. I don't get it. I think I need to update it or something. Got some by the boat. By the boat dock or that boat. That boat way over there. Okay. Good to, good to know. We'll try this spot for a little bit and if anything we'll switch to be over by the boat. More creepy kid please. More creepy kid, please. Oh God, what are we gonna do? Here we go. Least favorite fishing planet waterway. What you drinking? We're drinking uh, a little Sprite now. Probably should just drink water. But, uh, I was feeling the Sprite. Feeling the refreshing taste of Sprite Zero Sugar. A BZ Hub exclusive. Ah. Ooh. Kind of a weird bite. My god, they all bit at the same time. That's a freaking catfish. Can't get this guy in time. Seven pound pike. Ooh, that guy's fighting. Is this gonna be a catfish or is this gonna be a pike? Drinking a McDonald's Coke? Okay. Yeah, the stur the sturgeon can be boring, I agree. I'm thinking this is a catfish with the uh, the weight of the uh, reel and the line and everything on this rod there's no way a pike would be fighting this much even a unique I'm gonna scoot over Only real ribs. Oh man, I guess so. They are starting a sign war. Oh my god, so close! 
19.96. Are you serious? Oh, no, that worked. Wow, he gave it to us. How about that? 19.964 was good enough, evidently. That's hilarious. Well, good deal. One pike in, everybody. That's funny, though. Only real ribs. They are kind of calling them out, huh? You're getting a mullet. Oh, I have a mullet. You'll see it in the Halloween extravaganza. Don't you wait. Don't. Don't. You. Wait. Is White Moose Lake good for XP and money? Um, I mean, I, I fished there a bit before going to St. Croix. I remember. Uh, between the lake trout and the, you can catch some pike there, it's kind of fun. I don't know, it's a different change of pace and, and comparison to Everglades or something like that, so yeah, give it a go. Everyone put their favorite soda in the chat. That sounds, uh, yeah, go ahead. I'd love to see it. Sounds fun. I like doing these little mini polls. Little mini polls of the people in the chat. Everyone put your favorite soda. Tell me what you like drinking. Look at this dude. Oh, it's a freaking beluga sturgeon! Ah, oh, we should have known. Are you serious? McDonald's for all of. Oh, it's very specific. Gombe. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Come on, Beluga. Root beer all day. Man, if I could get a fresh root beer, I would say so. There, there's a train going by. Toot toot. Toot toot. Toot at us. Coca-Cola. I'm a I'm a Diet Pepsi kind of guy. That's what I that's what I like. Beluga, 88 pounds, 1660 XP, three thousand dollars that we can't keep. So we're just gonna snap a little mental picture here and let him go. Nice size fish though. All right, we got one pike out of here. Let me fish a little bit more. Let's do one more round of rods. Well, we got all bites at the same time. It was kind of crazy. The one with the most sugar, huh? Ruby is number two for you. Dr. Pepper's number one. Okay. Solid choice. You don't like baseball practice. <laughs> David. Crush, huh? Well, crush. That's fun. Oh, I can't remember last time I had crush. Let's get this out of here, Fanta. That's a cat. That's what I thought it was gonna be too. Let's get this out of here. Get the music going. We've only listened to this playlist like three times so far. Let's start it up for a fourth time, boys. Let's go. I love how the song, the first song in the playlist is called, It Starts With This. A little on the nose, I mean the playlist does start with it, but I'm just saying. Jolt Cola back in the day? Jolt. Was it a green can? I want to say it was green. Was it not? I don't know, man. I don't know if I have. Blake 2009, hi. Fish at the spot where you get in the boat, huh? That's where I end up catching my asps and stuff. I tell you what, this whole time we haven't been throwing our, uh, our crankbait or anything. Can't really throw it very far with this rod. 
But the fact that it's a sword is all I need. Do some kayak fishing, eh? I would, but I'm, I'm, I'm going for uh, efficiency. I'm trying to be as efficient as possible with my time right now. And I can fish with five rods if I do it this way versus a kayak. Oh. Why did you pick that up? This might be one. Unless it's a catfish. Come on, man. Be a pike. Be a pike. You know you want to be a pike. So be one. Don't be a catfish. Dang it, you're a stinking catfish. Ah, Trophy Wells. Get out of here, Trophy Wells. Alright, three rods to go. I'm not even gonna throw it in. We're literally just gonna count them down. Hi, Bo, how are you doing? Now it is Coffee and Fishing Planet. Hey, yeah, for you, maybe. Goodness gracious. Let's see, uh, Volden Hadaday? I can't, I don't, you have to make fun of me if I don't say it right. There's a pike. It's gonna be small, though. Eight pounds. Gosh dang it. How the crankbait ver works versus the jerkbait. So, <sighs> the crankbait, like, you're literally just fishing, uh, depth, basically. If, you, if you're fishing in a boat, which is perfect, because then you can actually see what depth the fish are at, then, you know, if you know that the fish are, are fishing at the, are swimming along at the bottom, then you can choose a crankbait that goes to the bottom of wherever you're fishing. So if it's only eight feet deep, then you can use a six foot crankbait like I'm using right now. And, uh, and it'll just stay down at that depth right at the very bottom. Now, if you know your fish are fishing at the top of the water, or are, are fishing, are swimming at the top of the water, then when you throw your crankbait out, you can watch it on the right side here, and just uh, and just kind of do little do little jolts that go just just below the top of the water, and that'll keep it right at the very top where the fish are swimming. The crankbait is just it. it it allows you to do whatever depth the fish are at, basically, which is really nice. Um, now, if you're using jerk bait, difference is is that like a lot of other, like a lot of other lures, the jerk bait is going to sink, right? So then you're kind of using a jerk bait like you would a casting spoon or something like that. Purple drank. Surge was good too. It was black with a lightning bolt on it. See, I feel like I kind of remember that. And uh, and I'm not really sure what what the best uh, you know if a stop and go or a twitch is best with a jerk bait. You would think a stop and go would be nice. That way you're kind of reeling it in and stopping and kind of reeling it in. I don't know, but you could probably get away with a, a twitch as well. sure what depth they're gonna be at. All right. So you think we should fish for a pike here, huh? Orange Fanta is good. Good knock. Sorry you missed the Monday stream. No problem there, Brock. Never be sorry about that. 
not sure how far to throw out. I've always just thrown kind of in the middle with uh, belugas and whatnot, so that's what, that's what I'm doing. It's kind of just natural. <laughs> Cast out 114 feet. What is with you guys and knowing like what, how many feet you're casting out and stuff? God, a bunch of nerds. Cast out 123 feet. Like, how am I supposed to know how far that is when I'm casting? It's a freaking beluga. Just you wait. Just got scared to death. Where can you get the bees you hub merch? Cast many fish today. We've caught a lot of fish today. Um, unfortunately, just not what we're looking for. Um, you can get a BZ Hub merch on the BZ Hub store, though. It should be down in the description as well. Oh, David just posted it as well. Good deal. One planet, one family. You cast and reel until it's 114 feet. I guess that makes sense. Shh. Whatever. The freaking Wells Catfish. Uh, up hoodie, if you got. Oh, definitely. We've got we've got some busy up hoodies. That's for sure. Have you caught the perch bully yet? Have you seen a video showing me catching the perch bully yet? Have you? Have you? Do you think I'd catch the perch bully without you knowing it? Blue crap, can you give me some advice on how to catch flounder? Uh... What were we catching flounder on the other day? Or oh, that was in, um, that was in Genter News and I'm confused now. Now this rod's going. Jeez Louise. Another catfish. Another catfish, I bet ya. Really would like it not to be catfish, though. Lots of gators. Come on, be a pike. Be a pike. Oh, he's acting pikish. He's acting pikish. That's a pike, bro. Be a biggin. Be a biggin, man. There we go! Number two! 20 pound northern pike. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get this beluga in. Give me, give me some caviar. Give me some caviar, man. Yeah, Thomas, I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I, I would recommend just kind of looking and seeing what bait they go for and throwing it out there. You might have to use a smaller hook with the flounder. Um, I don't even know. Number one, number one hot hook. I try it, I guess, and go up from there. I've never fished uh, for flounder specifically, so I don't really know. What's caviar? Fish eggs. Come on, man. I'm about to let this guy go. Honestly, don't even want to fight him. We're not fishing for sturgeon anyway. How many times did we come here to fish for belugas? And we struggled. And now we're trying to catch pike. And we're catching belugas. <laughs> I know, man. Medium cut bait? Makes sense. That's what we were catching the, uh, the flounder at uh, Genter News and on. This is a cup bait. Where are we from? I'm from Kansas. Good old Kansas, USA, bro. <laughs> Been fishing for peacock all day. That's a good fish to go for in the glades. It's a good high paying fish. Do I ride quads? 
My car has four wheels and four tires. Um, you could call it a quad. Um, but no, I live in the middle of Kansas City, so I don't really ride quads around here, and uh, I don't have one. I have a kayak, though. <laughs> it has no wheels, so it is not a quad. He knows favorite fish, the alien fish. It reminds him of home. Yeah, it's too true. Frank and Yank, you know. Look at it just slowly just drifting away. That's why I love uh, belugas. They never seem to be fighting. They're just swimming and they're attached to a hook. You fight with the belu- you fight with any fish in this game and you're like, oh my god, it's totally fighting me. Oh, it's just like yanking me around and trying to spit the hook out. And then you watch a sturgeon fight you. And it's not fighting you. It's just swimming. Like... The way a sturgeon, a beluga sturgeon fights you is he says to himself, you know what? I'm going to go this way. And he goes that way. And he pulls line out. And there's nothing you can do about it. And that's how you fight a beluga sturgeon. <laughs> He's coming towards us now. I'm afraid to stop reeling in. I just want him to keep coming. Favorite game? Oh, hard to say. Usually the Elder Scrolls games are my go-to's. My favorite games. Favorite spot to fish? Oh, I don't have a favorite spot. Weeping Willows is up there, though. Is this guy gonna be bigger than the last one? He is! 110 pounds, this guy. That's not bad. We did fight with him longer, that's for sure. That's a big fish. Who's ready to come up to Octuba and, and uh, get a good-sized beluga like this? <clears throat> $3,000 and 2300 XP, I guess. Alright. Well, I guess we're going back down here. Throwing out 114 feet from the, the boathouse or something. Do I have the Elder Gar bait? Uh, I might still, yeah. It's bending you to its will, it's very true. It's a bow bender. Catching a bunch of pickerel. Ooh, sounds fun. All right, so we, are we actually getting on this boat? Can we actually get on here? We can. How about that? Haha. <laughs> It's a perfectly placed rod holder. <laughs> All right, 114 feet, you say. Ah, oh, 103. 110, that's pretty close. You usually fish from the shore? Well, that, that's gonna mess everything up. I don't know what 114 feet is from the boat now. Oh jeez. Hello. You're just messing us up. Are you trying to Is this your whole goal? You're just wanting to mess the stream up? Is that your thing? Makes you happy? I know, right? You lost your 100 bait coin lure. What lure did you buy for 100 bait coins? Favorite fish to catch? I don't know. Carp, I guess. Any of them. I like fishing for all of them at the same time. 10 minutes left and we decided to Go fishing at this spot that Hello told us to go fish at. And then, and then, he tells us that we're not. Even though he told us to go to the, the, the fishing houseboat and cast out 114 feet, he then says he doesn't even fish on the fishing houseboat. That freaking tire over here. This boat doesn't need a tire. Our 
first fish on though. A hungry runner. Hmm, interesting. Why the heck we caught a Xander? Jeez Louise. Yeah, man, I read that. You've never been to the Everglades. You should go there. I don't... I don't... What do you want me to say? <laughs> what is your biggest fish in pounds? In pounds. Yeah, there we go, CJ. A little advertising. I dig it, bro. Just caught a unique tarpon right on. Never been to the Everglades. Yep, that's that's a good reason that you can't go somewhere, you know? Not enough high high enough level. That's it's usually the reason why people aren't able to go places. Money's another reason. Frank 59. E-E-S-S, -S, man. We're on the tail end of bad fishing. You're a Maku Maku right now, eh? <laughs> Is that the issue? You're trying to tell me to go fishing at a place that's not even on the same lake? Ah, oh, jeez. No wonder we're not catching any pike here. A one in a million perch. <laughs> Come on, dude. What are you doing? There's some serious crazy stuff going on here, guys. <laughs> yep, definitely do, Trenton. <laughs> I'm not sure, Blake. Maybe 44 pounds or 45 pounds. Wyatt A, how's it going? Um. Yeah, the difficult thing about using a bait caster and emerald is usually the uh, rods aren't long enough to get you out to where you need to go. But they can certainly get you to a place that, you know, you can catch something. No doubt. Oh, I know, right? Should you use a walker? You think a walker would work well here? Something just what in the world just happened there? Fish on Epic Buckeye with the sub. Thank you so much, Epic Buckeye. Freaking catfish, man. Jeez, the wheeze. How's it been going? Not too bad. We got two different baits to go after monster fish, but we're still going after the darn 20 pound pike. Backwoods. B Baudry? Baudry. 
If you only knew backwoods bodger, you should look up how to use a, a crankbait. I don't know why, why, why do people come in here? I swear, and the thing is, is it's always the crankbait. So many people think they know how to use a crankbait and that the only way to use a crankbait is just to let it go down to the depth it's designed for and keep pulling it. If it goes to 20 feet, guys, but the fish aren't at 20 feet, then why would you go down all the way to the bottom? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's a bad joke. It's a bad. It's like it's like telling. It's like uh, someone who always gets annoyed uh, for uh, people making fun of their nose or something, and then you come along and make fun of their nose, and you're like, "Hey, it's just a joke." Like they're tired of people making fun of their nose, so why would you? make fun of their nose and then say it's a joke. It's not a joke. It's just stupid. <laughs> that's that's where I'm at with the crankbait. I have been told over the past two years so many times, you're using the crankbait wrong. You should be going all the way down to the bottom. Blah! And I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing it. Well, you just wandered into a trap there, didn't you, Backwoods? You had no idea that you were just- that you were just waking up a hornet's nest. Alright, so far, well, we've caught two pike and they've been in different areas. Yikes, Rama. What are you trying to catch? Trying to catch octopus, the fabled octopus. No, we're trying to catch pike so that we can get the bait that I named this stream after. Ridiculous. Andrew Keys had soccer. Oh my god. I wish I had soccer. I had a volleyball game. Which was fun. I just wanted to play soccer. Something small here. Which, any, if anything, hopefully is just a sign that it's pipe. I from Russia, Nikita says. That's a freaking Xander again. Jeez. Will the Xanders just finally wake up from their slumber or something? What's going on? Somewhere in real life. I don't even know what that is, Wyatt. Looking forward to it. Ugh. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. I know that my brother and I are gonna play Bigfoot, and um, I'm gonna be playing one of the Man of Medan games, spooky, spooky story games, and um, I'm not sure what else. Well, I don't have a boat, Blake, so uh, mostly land fish. Are you talking about in the game or in 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 the in real life, I guess? I have a kayak and I still don't fish from it very much. Just kind of a pain to bring out and stuff. And when you're fishing for carp, it's easier to do it from land, so. Yeah. Even then I fish I fish with multiple rods a lot in the game, so. Most of the time I just stick with this. Samsung or iPhone? I've got an iPhone.
Whoa! Are you serious? I thought we had something there. I don't know how we got snagged on something at the top of the water. Hey, thanks, Taven. Appreciate it. I don't know why you're laughing. Cool, Lucas. Fish. I think it's a freaking Xander. It's the first fish I've caught on this uh, sword rod. God, it's a is it an asp. I think it's an asp. A trophy asp. We finally catch a fish on this darn lure, and it's an asp. Almost end time. Uh, it is end time. I was just giving it a few more chances. Come on, Pike. Fifteen pound striper. Nice, man. That's cool. For you, it's better than Fishing Planet. You know, I you know, I was talking to someone about that today, actually. It seems like some people really love Russian fishing, and some people play Russian fishing and say that it's, it's too much and that they enjoy Fishing Planet more. So, uh, I think it's just a matter of preference, I guess. Oh, man. All right, we're going to do one more cast, and if we don't get one fish, then I think that's going to do it. <clears throat> one last cast. 22-pound striper. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, that's not good. All right, well, tell you what, everyone. I think that's going to do it. We almost got, we got two out of five pike, which is great. Um, didn't get one on any lures there. We got an asp towards the end there on the crank bay, but that's, that's all right. But uh, yeah, it seemed like we got one over there and we got one over at the uh, the boat dock. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. There's a fish. There's a fish. See you in a couple months. Oh, man, CJ. Well, yeah, we'll look forward to it, man. Be looking forward to seeing you again. Hopefully, we got a pike here. Then we'll only need two more pike. Oh, there he is. I don't think he's going to be 20 pounds, though. Dang it. Eight pounds. Well, that's okay. Anywho, it was great to see everyone, as always. And, uh, you know, if you enjoyed it, as usual, uh, hit, the, hit the like button and whatnot. And uh, we'll keep fishing for uh, some bait on Monday. And then, uh, and then we'll be ready to go after the monster fish, I think. Because we only have... We have this one, and then we have... Uh, let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have this one, and then we have blue crab. And that's it. And then we're done. We're, we're ready to we're ready to go after the monster fish so uh yeah might do some sort of stream over the weekend just to get the monster bait over with uh but yeah that's gonna do it everyone good to see everyone and hopefully you're excited for this halloween season i'm excited for it and i hope that everything calms down and then i can actually focus on uh making some halloween videos because it's my one of my favorite times of the year and yeah that's gonna do it take care everyone and uh see you in the next live stream as always, remember. We're on one planet.